Hey guys, this is Unretired here, and I'm just going to do a little video of Rift again. These are some small tips for leveling. So if you know those tips already, guys, uh, you can either watch the video or not watch the video. But if you're a new player and you're uh, enjoying this free-to-play Rift, I suggest you do listen to this. It will help you out in the long run, especially in the beginning. So, how do I level fast? Okay, well, if you're solo like me right now, I'm just playing my out, my warrior tank. You know, you know, I do them quests, I enjoy lore, I read the, I read the quests, and I do the quests. Uh, but, you know, there is something called Daily Dungeons. Press I on your keyboard, and you'll go straight for the looking for group, and you'll have your available uh, roles. I've chosen, obviously, tank, because I am a tank role. Now, lower levels... Uh, right till 50, I would have to say, you'll be doing random normal dungeons. You do these seven times, hey, seven times 6,660 XP, Six, seven times 19 gold, that's good XP, that's good money. Not, not to say the amount of experience you will be getting in the dungeon and the amount of gold or plat, whatever, you will be making in that dungeon itself. Drops, selling to vendors, butchering, skinning, whatnot. It's all there. So this is to your advantage. Do do it seven times a day. You know, if you have the time, do it seven times a day. If you don't have time, do it at least once or twice. You know, just to do it. Afterwards, uh, once you reach a certain um, level, you, can, you will be able to do the random classic expert dungeon. So these are the... Um, so they're just harder, basically, and you get tokens for gear. Seven times a day, a day, again, guys. XP. Hey, you know that XP, right? And one plat every time, 1.50 plat. You can't go wrong with that. And then when you go to the Storm Legion experts, now nah, we're talking. It's good plat, six plat at a time. That amount of XP seven times. Can't go wrong, guys. Uh, if you have, a, if you're in a guild or you have some friends, hey goes even faster you know what you're doing you have that synergy going on for you so I highly suggest you do that second option is to do PvP if your thing is PvP you don't like doing dungeons you do some quests but you wanna you wanna bash some scrubs press K on your keyboard and there you go PvP options now you do have these warfronts I can click on any warfront and join them if I wanted to but what you want to do is you want to do the random war fronts seven times a day. They go quite fast. Uh, it's usually one-sided. Um, from my experience, it's usually either Defiant, Defiant or the Guardians, and it's either one-sided every game. Some rarely it is that it's kind of equal, but usually it's one-sided. It's either or. You win or you lose. Uh, don't get mad if you lose. I mean, you still get XP. You still get you still get currency for. I mean gold for uh, killing people um, but what is good if you win seven times a day that you get 19 gold every shot plus you get experience plus you get a warfront equipment chest a cache excuse me now the cache holds a, an item uh, of gear and uh, I'll just give you like for, for example I just had I just equipped these before doing the video uh, this is from a warfront so I got this it says warrior rec uh, cleric rogue. Um, it's it's good. I mean, it was an upgrade compared to my weapon, anyways, that I had. Um, you can, while leveling, you can use PvP gear. I don't see the big deal, to be honest with you. Uh, but once you do, if you're doing dungeons leveling, no big deal either. But once you reach the leveling stage or expert modes, guys, do not use PvP gear. I mean, if you're really really good you know your stuff with your character uh, up to you but I honestly prefer PV PvE gear for PvE content uh, that's just me that's my opinion don't need to listen but always preferable <laughs> so like the blue gear here that's all uh, Warfront gear that uh, I just put on just for an example um, yeah so do those PvP matches 7 times a day quick quick XP quick goal and you get currency called favor no I haven't done much PvP on this one but you know this is what you get you get you get favor and once you reach a certain amount of favor you can buy other pieces of gear at the PvP vendors 
Now, those are the two quickest ways. Other way, you um, you know, group up with a friend, do the quests. Um, but I can guarantee that if you're doing uh, dungeons and PvP quests every day, you will be out leveling the zones much, much quickly, much quicker than you normally would. Now, one little tip here: if you're having trouble making that plat, because you know, my people might be like, "Well, how do I buy a mount? You know, I don't want to spend credits." No, no, no. Well, you know, there's a little way here. Um, just get gathering skills. I, this is my second character, but so I just put skinning, well, skinning, which is butchering, and I have uh, what's it called the um, forgings. Sorry, uh, kind of missed it there. I was about to say herbalism. <laughs> so one way is you do that, and if you want to do gold, you can just sell that crap if you want to vendors, or go online on prime time and you sell it. Try to sell it on trade chat. Trade chat is your best bet if you don't want to pay to get the auction uh, auction house option on your account. I think I believe it comes up to like five bucks. Um, if you love the game and you think you'll be playing for a long time, five dollars is well worth the price. A small price for that, you'll be able to make platinum much quicker. My option is much longer, but you'll still be able to make currency. You can always go take a look here. You know, you can do a little search. Heavy hide poof comes up. And you can see like unit price, current bid, yada yada yada. You can make a difference for that undercut in your trade chat. If someone wants it, they will whisper you and they'll come and get it to you. And that's how you make some quick cash. I mean, the gathering, clear. gathering, vendoring. If you know that's not, it's not something that they can sell, but uh, in trade or in the auction house. But you know, you can just vendor it and it'll give you some plot anyways. Do it. I mean, don't. Who cares about this bag space and whatnot? Just do it. Now, those are the quickest way, guys, to level. Um, like I said, if you do make platinum, also you can buy yourself some gear on the rift store, which is right here. Equipment or PvP mounts, pets, whatever you want. It's your prerogative. You, it's your choice. There's so many choices here, but those are the quickest ways to level. I for looking for group K for random warfronts PvP. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If, like I said, if you knew what I was talking about already, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please do subscribe, you know, it does help me out to make more videos. Uh, I do enjoy riffs, so if anybody out there is on my server, Halal, uh, and wants to add me to their guild, I'll be more than more than happy to join. We can make some, some videos together and whatnot, you know. But I love this game, guys. You know, this is been waiting for it to go free to play for a while and it's well worth it try it out try that leveling with try that le the weight of leveling that i just suggested to you if you're new to the game uh if you're dp class dps class it'll go very quick if you're a tank class or a healer class <laughs> it'll be much longer than than i thought yep so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed